In this video, you'll learn how to keep track of and access all of your inspections. You can retrieve past inspections through the View Recent Inspections screen, Show Recent Inspections button, and the All Inspection List archive. You can track inspection status and progress through the Inspection Activity dashboard. Let's start with the Show Recent Inspections button on the Selection Process screen. When you start an inspection, go to Inspections, Enter New Inspection, and select the project. If there are any past inspections for that project, the Show Recent Inspection button appears. Press it, and then you'll see a list of the inspections that were done on that project. You can go directly to the inspection by clicking the Inspection ID. You can access a full list of the last 1,000 inspections, regardless of the project, at the View Recent Inspections screen. From the main menu, choose Inspections View Recent Inspections. On this screen, you'll see a list where each row is a different inspection. You'll see the date it was done, its status, what checklist it was on, and any notes that you've made. Selection filters at the top allow you to filter this list so that you can see just inspections you're interested in. For example, by project or by using the universal search. If you want to take a closer look at any of the inspections, just click the ID number of that inspection and it will open on your screen. To retrieve older inspections or for a more targeted list, you can go to the All Inspections List Archive screen. You can access the archive by going to Inspections, All Inspections List Archive. This will load a grid listing every single inspection conducted in your account. You can filter this list using the fields below each column header, such as Inspection ID Number, Inspection Date, Project Name, Responsible Party, Checklist, Inspector Type, and inspection status. You can even combine keywords to produce a very specific targeted list of inspection data. For example, I'm going to retrieve all inspections in Project Ancient Oaks using the cabinet checklist CT192 that have inspection status of pass. Press enter and the grid will return my filtered list. If I scroll down, I can see that I have two pages of results. And if I want to export this selection into an Excel spreadsheet, I can click the download icon. My filtered list will then download, and I can open the list in Excel. You can manage your inspection performance using the Inspection Activity Dashboard. From the main menu, click Dashboards, and select Inspection Activity Dashboard. This dashboard provides a snapshot of inspection statistics, including total number passed, have CA required, and are incomplete, along with performance over a time period, basic stats, and a breakdown by project, phase, location, responsible party, inspector, you can select a specific project or all projects and time frames from the drop-down at the top of the screen. Hover over a component to view a details box. Click the component to filter the dashboard data and focus the graphs and charts exclusively on that data set. Click the filter icon in X in the upper right corner to reset the dashboard. Scroll down to view the individual inspections that make up the data in the charts and graphs. You can update inspection status from this grid, such as changing a CA required status to pass or fail. Select multiple inspections to change several statuses at once and make a quick update. You can click the inspection ID number to open that inspection on your screen. Now you're ready to continue or update your inspection.